Hello avid royal followers, welcome back to the channel and in today's news. With the publication of controversial royal biography Finding Freedom just around the corner, there are concerns that the details surrounding their rift with the monarchy may have scuppered any chance of the couple returning to the UK at the end of the trial separation. However, it seems Harry and Meghan may never have intended to return. The new biography titled Finding Freedom retells the events leading up to the decision by Harry and Meghan to leave the UK and step down from their royal roles as senior members of the royal family. The couple have insisted they offered no interviews for the biography's authors nor contributed to it. The book explores claims that the pair gave up their regular duties in an attempt to strike out commercially and pay their own way. Moreover, a palace insider said Prince Harry had been reluctant to agree to a review following their trial separation. The source interviewed by The Telegraph claims Harry and Meghan never wanted to return in the first place because the couple knew they never wanted to return to the old way of doing things. They said, the split was very stressful for everyone on all sides, but the Duke and Duchess were never going to back to the status quo. Harry needed to be convinced of the purpose for a review. Theirs is a new model and they never wanted to go back to the old one, even if they do come back to the UK. The review is intended to keep the door open to them, but Harry could see the downside of this because this wasn't about them changing their minds. The 12-month review was suggested as part of negotiations to keep the door open for the couple to return to the UK. It's allowed Prince Harry to hold on to some patronages and titles, said insiders, which in turn allows him to maintain his links with the UK. The pair had been expected back for major events such as Trooping the Colour. However, the coronavirus pandemic scuppered any plans of them leaving overseas. The couple have been carrying out virtual tours and engagements in the US and are both involved in a number of projects close to their hearts. Harry and Meghan are planning to launch their new organization Artwell this year. The Duchess of Sussex recently gave a virtual keynote speech at the UN Foundation's 2020 Gallup Leadership Summit. During the speech, Meghan Markle encouraged women to be the voice of the next generation. She said, They know that all of you, at a younger age than any modern comparison, are setting the tone for an equ equitable humanity. Not figuratively, literally. This is a humanity that desperately needs you. To push it, to push us forcefully in a more inclusive, more just and more empathetic direction. Not to not only frame the, the, frame the debate, but to be in charge of the debate on racial justice, gender, climate change, mental health and well-being, on civic engagement, on public service and so much more. That's the work you're already out there doing. The Duchess also shared advice on how to support others. She added, we are not meant to be breaking each other down, we are meant to be building each other up. So use your voice both on and offline to do just that. Build each other up, support each other. That is all for today's news, thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next video.